Again, today has been a frigid one. We've been talking temperatures and wind chills in the 20, 30, 40 plus below range, below zero. Our lows were in the 20s and 30s below, and we saw some wind chills get all the way down to 60 below in Langdon. So it's been pretty tough out there. Here's a look at our current conditions right now. This is a live view on our Luther Family Ford Skycam in South Fargo. You can see a beautiful blue sky. It looks nice outside, but we know much different is where we're experiencing much different conditions because of that frigid air. It's very dry and it's an Arctic air mass and that combination, uh, a tough one here. Looking at temperatures into the teens below zero in most areas. It's nine below in Gwinter, 11 below in Fargo and 13 below currently in Grand Forks, 18 below in Devil's Lake, Langdon and in Roseau. And a look at your wind chills again. We have several spots where we have wind chills down into the 30s below still as we have head into the afternoon. And this will continue today. So looking at 34 below right now, a wind chill uh, in Grand Forks, a wind chill of 23 below in Fargo, and wind speeds that are not that strong. We've got one spot down in Oaks where we have a gust to 18 miles per hour. Everywhere else, we're looking at winds that are 10 miles per hour or less. So it's not that strong. It's just that our temperatures are so low. Even just a bit of a breeze can cause some real issues here. So checking out your radar and satellite map, nice and quiet. We do have some clouds starting to uh, make their presence known here today. And we'll see perhaps some increasing clouds uh, in some of those places that we've got blue skies right now. Uh, and under those clouds, the potential for uh, the, the flurry or two, or, you know, we saw those little ice crystals last night that coated some of those sidewalks and your colder vehicles. Well, we may see a little bit of that today too, but mainly just talking about some uh, areas of cloud cover moving in. Heading into the later afternoon, temperatures struggle. We'll stay in the single digits below zero for most places in southeastern North Dakota. And then in the northern part of the valley and to the east where we saw some of our coldest temperatures this morning, we'll see highs that stay in the teens below zero. And then of course in your pink numbers there, those are your wind chills. And we have 20s to 30s below lasting through the afternoon. And once that sun sets tonight, those temperatures start dropping yet again. So it's going to be a tough one here. We're looking at a cold Friday night. If you have plans tonight, be ready for the dangerous cold. And if you have plans tomorrow morning, for that matter, it's going to be just as tough tomorrow morning. We're talking temperatures that dip down into the 20s and 30s below yet again. Some places, if we can keep that cloud cover around a little while longer, may be able to hold on to some teens below zero. But overall, another frigid start to our day Saturday wind chills, 20s, 30s, 50s below. And that's why uh, we have that wind chill warning in effect that's been scrolling at the bottom of your screen throughout the day today. Heading into the day Saturday, this is noon. We're looking at mostly sunny skies, temperatures yet again struggling. We're still in the deep freeze. And as we head into the afternoon hours, you may yet again see a little bit of cloud development uh, initially in the afternoon and then kind of going away into the nighttime hours yet again. And by 11 o'clock, here we go again. Temperatures dropping below zero, or rather dropping below 20 below, and perhaps even lower than that heading into your Sunday morning. So Sunday morning may end up being our coldest day, our coldest temperature uh, here in this entire stretch. And that just so happens to be uh, likely our coldest day. And then we work our way out of this. So we really just have to get through the weekend. Monday is going to be tough too. And if you've got a long weekend here with the holiday coming up for Monday, that'll probably be your mildest day, but we're still likely to spend the day below zero for most of the valley. It's after that where we start to see those temperatures recover. So hang in there. Uh, but at the same time, I know we're all looking forward to the warm up, but we still need to take where we're at in this deep freeze. We need to take that seriously. You're exactly right. I know this morning it took me a while to get my car to start. And then when it finally started, the temperature said negative 24 at the time. So definitely want to have the layers, but also being protective of your cars as well if you got to go places. Thanks again, Lisa.